In this quick video, we're going to walk through how to request signatures in Google Docs. Google has recently released the feature to gather e-signatures through a Google Doc. Once you've created your document, simply go to Tools and select e-signature. You're going to see the box pop open here on the right side. The top box is to manage your signers. You'll want to give each signer a name. You can add up to 10 signers. If you decide that you don't need one of the signers, simply hit the trash next to the name. Hit save once you've added all the signers that you need, and now you're ready to request your signatures. Below the signer box, you'll see the fields that you're able to collect. Signature, initials, name, and a text. You also have a auto-filled option for the date. So now we're going to request our first signature for the person of Alan. We're going to grab the signature option and put it right here. And then we'll grab date right next to it. As you see that it is this teal color, we know that that's for Alan. Now we're going to request one for Carl as well, and we'll see the purple. Now for Nikki, we only need initials. So we're gonna grab initials and then we're gonna put that right here. So now we have a signature option for Alan, a signature option for Carl, along with the date, and Nikki only needs to initial. And we'll add a name field here as well. If you make a mistake and you no longer need one of the boxes or fields, you simply can click it and then hit delete after right clicking. And you can move these boxes at any point in time before you request a signature. You can place signatures throughout the page. So now Nikki will need to sign under this paragraph here. Once you've made all your edits and you're ready to request signature, simply select request e-signature. Now we're going to input email addresses for those that need to sign this. The email is how they will be notified of what they need to do. I would also suggest adding a message. In this message, this can let people know that you're requesting a signature, why you need the signature, and the date of when it needs to be returned. Once you're ready, hit request signature. This will create a PDF in your Google Drive and send an email to anyone that needs to sign this. If you wanna view the PDF, you can click on it here to view it in your drive. So we can now see all the boxes where they need to sign and that it is pending a signature. Now let's take a look at the email they receive. Once the email request comes through, it will look something like this, stating who needs to sign and what's going on. We're gonna select open here and then we're gonna be redirected back to our Google Drive. Now as a signer, I have the option to sign or reject. I'm gonna go ahead and hit sign. This is gonna create a signature for me. As I type my name, we now see the signature. We're gonna hit adopt and sign, and now there's my signature. As I scroll down here, we can see the initial field, and that is now there. Once I've made all my adjustments and sign where I needed to sign, I can hit mark complete. You must select this box and agree to terms of service before submitting the signature. Now that we've signed, we're going to get a copy of this and we can again see this in our drive. We're going to close. Now let's head back to what that looks like. Now as the person that created the document, we're going to head back to my drive to take a look at it. Now we can see that I still have some signatures pending, but one person has signed and initialed. Whenever I'm ready and I've collected all of my signatures, I can share this with my team or move it to a drive. This is a great way to collect signatures and then move it to a shared drive.
You can always refer back to your PDF to check and see the status of the signatures. You can do this by opening your PDF and then selecting View Detail. We can now see that one person has signed and we are waiting on two other signatures. We can also see when they signed. If you decide you no longer need the signature, you can hit Cancel Request. We can see that these two people did not respond and that the e-signature was canceled. When the e-signature request is canceled, anyone that was on the document will also get an email stating that their signature is no longer needed. Thank you for watching this quick video on how to collect e-signatures. You can find this in other videos on our digital learning channel by going to JSPS Quick Links and selecting Digital Learning Channel or you can visit our Technical Learning Center at jspsme forward slash TLC.